When you're reading the title, you may think, Thomas, that is absolutely not true. That is impossible. But if you actually watch this video all the way through the end, well, I think that most of you guys are probably going to agree with me. And that is that Bitcoin is going to bottom out and potentially next month. But first, I need to go into Twitter because yesterday something absolutely breaking happened. Well, really something breaking happened because the Bank of England, well, they were trying to fight inflation, but trying. But as I've told you guys, it is impossible to fight inflation. There's so much debt in the system and that, you know, the system can't handle higher interest rates now the first bank that was hiring interest rates was actually the bank of england and after that the fed followed and i told you guys actually is that the bank of england is probably going to be the first bank that's going to pivot and once we see the bank of england pivot we are probably going to see the usa pivot as well well actually if i'm really honest the first one which was raising interest rates was china but what actually happened is China already pivoted and I think they're already like printing money to prop up their stock market and their housing bubble. But anyway, Bank of England was the one in Europe that started, started like nine months ago, where the first one to increase interest rates. But I told you guys, well, this is not going to last really that long. I thought maybe one, maybe maximum two years, but they held out here for nine months. So really not a long time because what happened basically is that the pension funds started failing. And if the bank did not intervene, well, their whole system would collapse. Now, the thing is, is that this was kind of predictable already. This is extremely bullish for Bitcoin, but it's not that bullish yet for Bitcoin because we want the Federal Reserve to pivot because Bitcoin and the dollar are really just kind of, you know, coupled together. If the dollar pumps, that means Bitcoin is going down. And if the dollar dumps, then Bitcoin is generally going up. You can see it throughout the Bitcoin history. The dollar is the most important currency, but if all the, you know, central banks are now starting to pivot, it's, well, it's pretty much just a prediction to what is going to happen in the Fed, what the Fed is going to do here in the near future. Now, the thing is, is that everybody's talking about the Fed is going to increase interest rates. I am so scared. The Fed keeps having all this talk about, you know, trying to get the stock market down and trying to get inflation down. I am so scared. Well, the thing is, I told you guys, look, talking is extremely cheap. If the central banks are talking, well, you know, they don't really have to do anything. Talking is extremely cheap. They don't have to increase interest rates. And maybe just by talking, they can get people scared then maybe they can stop people from buying things, buying new things, maybe stop people from getting out of the stock market. And if that happens, then, you know, the Fed can basically dump the market, get down inflation without actually doing anything. And this is the reason why they talk so much. Uh, but every central bank uses this trick of talking so much about, you know, so much hawking, so much hawkish talk about destroying the economy and destroying inflation, you know, and that this is all, of course, because Again, it's just cheap talk. They don't have to do anything. So it's, you know, a simple way to potentially get inflation down. But as you guys know, um, I said, don't really listen to what central banks are doing. Look what they're actually doing with the interest rates. And the Bank of England had a speech on 29 of September where they were going to talk about decreasing their balance sheet. But um, yeah, they basically are not going to do that speech anymore because basically the Fed, uh, basically the Bank of England is starting to print money again. They're not going to shrink the balance sheet because otherwise their pension fans would fail. Now, they call this a temporary uh, interve intervention into the market, but we all know that everything that's temporary is going to last for a very long time. The Bank of England has so much debt, they're not going to be able to stop devaluing their currency. They're not going to be able to reduce their balance sheet. This is only going to get worse. And of course, inflation is right now 10% in England. It's going to get even worse because the Bank of England is right now printing more money into the system. So this is extremely bullish for Bitcoin, of course. But again, as I told you guys, the dollar is the most important factor here right now, not the pound. So it's, you know, it's, it is a nice prediction here into the near future. It is a nice prediction that actually has come true what I've talked about. It actually came true far, far earlier than I actually expected. But everything is kind of coming here and falling into place for a new Bitcoin bull run. And yeah, I think that we're right now extremely oversold. Bitcoin is looking absolutely nice. In the last video, I gave you guys five charts that were basically showing that Bitcoin is extremely oversold. And we're likely going to see some kind of a new bull run here in the coming few months moving forward. Um, but be a little bit patient. I think that the chances of Bitcoin now bottoming out are extremely high. I think that central banks around the globe are starting to fall apart. They're st starting to go back and have to print money again. And this is going to have a very, very bullish effect on Bitcoin. I think that we have right now bottomed. I think we're near the bottom, but 
do not be surprised if we do kind of go sideways here still around this level maybe before we actually pump here we can go sideways all the way until the end of the year but i think that we have seen a bottom i think that bitcoin has right now bottom thousand. i think this is clearly a sign that central banks are probably going to have to print more money and when that happens of course a lot of people will start buying bitcoin because bitcoin cannot be devalued it is the best performing asset here in the last 10 dec uh, in, uh, this the last decade it was the best performing asset especially because the federal reserve and all the other central banks were printing so much money into the system so I think we could see something very similar to 2019, where we actually bottomed out here quite early, but then we still kind of went sideways. We had this kind of short move here to the upside before we actually eventually had this move here all the way back to 14,000 US dollar. Uh, but I think we have bottomed. I think we could go a little bit lower, but I don't. I think 10K is really out of the question right now. Um, we have to look at what the Fed is doing, but I think that the pivot is also quite near because if you look at how much the yield curves are inverting how much problems it is causing to other central banks around the globe. And I think that very soon in the coming few months, we're going to see a Fed pivot. Um, again, don't listen to what the Fed is saying, because, you know, as you can see here with the Bank of England, they were basically trying to um, bring the market down and they had here a speech about balance sheet reduction for 29 September. But, well, basically that that's, you know, they pivoted already. So there's no reason that they're going to have to. So, well, there's no way that they're going to be able to decrease their balance sheet. Don't listen to central banks. Look at what they're actually doing. And I think very, very soon we're going to see that Federal Reserve pivot. And that is going to be the moment that Bitcoin is absolutely going to shine. Because we all know throughout history, once the dollar goes down in value, once the DXY goes down, that often means... Well, often means that it always meant that Bitcoin would restart a new bull market. And if the Fed is going to pivot, then you're likely going to see the dollar index here topping out. I don't think you're going to see a huge, huge correction here on the dollar index, but I think it's not really that relevant anymore what the dollar index is going to do. If all the central banks are just printing money, and especially with this inflation this high, then that would absolutely create an extremely strong foundation for anyone to buy Bitcoin, because at that point, you can basically guess that all fiat currencies are about to fail. Because the thing is, is that central bankers have always told us that, you know, whenever there's high inflation, they can just raise interest rates. If they're not capable of raising interest rates with this much inflation, that basically shows you that central banks are trapped. They have completely trapped themselves by building up so much leverage into the system. And it basically shows you that if you're holding fiat right now, you're going to have to deal with more and more inflation and more and more devaluation in the future. And there's absolutely no way that central bankers can stop that from happening. So at that point, it's basically going to be confirmed that Bitcoin is going to go and get into a huge rally. I think all of the big traders I'm talking to, all of the big traders I'm following on Twitter are agreeing with me. All of the veterans here, in the Bitcoin space that I follow. I follow just kind of a select few people, but they're all extremely bullish on the price, especially after the Bank of England started to do um, yield curve control again. Yeah, I think that we can just sit here. We can just kind of relax. If you have uh, more than one Bitcoin or just 0 0.1 Bitcoin, doesn't really matter. If you have a decent amount of Bitcoin, I think you shouldn't really sell these levels. I can no financial advice, do whatever you want. But, uh, you know, my opinion, I'm not selling. I think that very soon in the coming few months, we're going to see the Fed pivot. I would not be surprised that we're right now at the bottom. I think that almost certainly we have hit some kind of a bottom. Again, we can still go a little bit lower, but does it really matter? No, I don't think so. You know, if we go back here to 17,000 US dollar just for a few days, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. But I think that somewhere around this level we have bottomed. And now we just got to wait for the Fed to pivot. And then, hello, welcome, bull market. Well, <laughs> then I think we're going to go to 200,000 US dollar here in the coming one to two years. I think it's exciting if you hold Bitcoin and if you hold fiat, well, it's not going to be so exciting. I think the whole system is really going to get a lot of damage from all the central bank intervention. And so prepare yourself, defend yourself. Don't look at the way to make yourself rich. Don't look at Lambos. If you can just get through this crisis, that would be extremely, extremely awesome. Because the thing is, is that a lot of people are going to go broke because of the crisis. Look in Europe, you know, people I talk to that are right now in the Netherlands can't pay their gas bills anymore, can't go on holidays, can barely even get food anymore because everything is so goddamn expensive. If you can get through this crisis uh, alive and you are able to, you know, maybe find like a good place to live and you can maybe continue to travel, those are the those are the kind of goals that you want to be aiming for. You don't want to aim for Lambos and that kind of stuff. Really put away those dreams. It's simply not going to happen. Our economy is going to go through a huge depression, likely an inflationary depression in the coming few years, probably this decade. Find a way to protect yourself. And if you can find a way out, then congratulations. So with that, I want to end this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.